the truth on, okay? Use it as a, as a study guide for you because I'm just going to be flying through all of this stuff, okay? Um, the end of what we read, 1 Peter 4, 10 to 11, God has given you each a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them to serve one another. <laughs> then he gives us two examples. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak as though God himself was speaking through you. And do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with the strength and energy that God supplies. How do you know that when you speak, you're speaking the very words of God? How do you know when you're helping others, you're doing it with the strength he provides? Those are great questions. I'm so glad you asked. Um, we know when we're not doing it, right? We, we know when the words we speak tear down instead of build up. We know when we, we are agreeing with the enemy over someone's life. We just, we know it. We know our, our the tongues, our, our tongues can bless and our tongues can curse. Our tongues can build up and our tongues can tear down. We need to be in control of our tongue, but we can't without Holy Spirit's help. He's the one that enables us to control our tongue. The, the, uh, we know we can serve and we can be doing good, but we can grow tired and weary and disappointed and unappreciated. And, and we need to look at our motives in that. Like, are we doing it for the show? Are we doing it to look good? Are we doing it because it needs to be done and nobody's doing it? I'm going to do it. Or are we doing it as unto the Lord? I'll, I'll unpack this more later on here. But when we work as unto the Lord with our whole heart, that means we make the decision to work. It means we, uh, we, we do something, we work, and then we get this feeling that is often peace because we're trusting God to work it all out in the end, right? Like if I have to do this work, I'm, it takes away time from this. So I'm trusting God that I'll still have time for this if I have to do this work in here. Okay, we'll get into that just in a bit. The, the thing that jumped out, in, uh, jumped out to me as I studied for this message was Peter used the gift. Uh, you've got the gift of speaking, and he, he's got the gift of serving. And it's jumped out to me that Jesus only did what he saw the Father do, and he only said what he heard the Father say. He's our example in this. How do we speak the very words of God? How do we serve with the strength God provides? I, I have a couple of tools for you today. Like I said, you need the sheet because we're going to be flying through them, okay? Um, these tools will help you in any speaking or serving gift. The gifts in those three places can be divided up into gifts of, uh, there are eight gifts of speaking, six gifts of serving, and four get signed gifts. So I'm not dealing with the signed gifts today, but I'm telling you these tools will help with all the speaking gifts and all the serving gifts. But what if you don't have a gift of speaking? And what if you don't have a gift of serving? Two other great questions. I'm so glad you asked. 